So I was crazy into comics when I was a kid. And when I moved to Chicago, there was a great comic store. It's still there. It's called Chicago Comics. And it's one of the best comic stores in the, in the world. And, like, I mean, it's written about, like, um, drawn and quarterly lists it, like, on their, on their like, uh, site for, like, comic shops to go to in the world. And, uh, well, you know, since I'm talking about drawn and quarterly, I have a couple comics I wanted to show off. My favorite underground comics. Um, Joe Matz, The Poor Bastard, is an excellent... It's a, it's sort of like a journal of his life. Um, the drawings are really funny, and um, he's like a compulsive masturbator, and all he does is like watch porn and like argue with his girlfriend. And like, well, Peep Show, the collection of strips before this sort of documented like his early life or like his early relationship with Trish, his girlfriend. And this book is really really sad because it 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 documents the breakup of his him and Trish breaking up and it, it's real I mean he this is things that he draws about or he writes about are the reasons why they break up and like so you can see a couple just fall apart in this and um like James Gunn is really into Joe Matt I know that Pam the chick that plays Pam from The Office like had a picture of her and Joe Matt on her MySpace um Joe Matt's a really nice guy. I wrote him a fan letter. I never do that, but I found him on MySpace, and I was like, Joe Matt, I've been a huge fan for, like, ten years. And he wrote me back, he's like, oh, thanks, I'm just in the library. Like, there's a poster of Leonardo DiCaprio on the wall. Like, it was fucked up. He, so he's a really cool guy. And, um, he, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I've heard that he's, only, he's not very nice to his male fans because he only wants, like, girls to come up to him, but he treated me with courtesy. But, um, like, his friend, you know, his friend Seth uh, draws, like, New Yorker covers, and they, they document a lot of conversations with, like, him and Seth, and his other friend, uh, Chester Brown, um, uh, who, who made some really great comics, um, that's, that's Seth, um, but the, the, this is hilarious, I mean, this is, and it's beautiful and heartbreaking, this is, the poor bastard is ex of fair weather. I don't know which one I like more. This one's maybe deeper because, like I said, it really it shows the dissolution of a relationship. But I mean, like, um, yeah, another great underground comic is like pretty much the source of all underground comics, like the Godfather of everything in the dark realm. And his, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the movie um, that Terry Zweigoff made. It's really good. Um, the documentary about Robert Crumb. But he is, he's very twisted. Um, his drawings are excruciatingly sexual and bizarre with, like, kids, you know, hugging onto women's, like, fat ankles and stuff. And, like, he's just, like, this excruciating pervert. But he's a brilliant guy. He says that his entire creative outlook came from uh, a bad trip that he had on acid that he tripped for like a year or some shit he said and like he just had all these weird ideas and stuff he has like a lot of really great this is one of my favorites a lot of really great um comics i'm worried like i almost like can't show these fucking comics in in videos but um robert crumb is awesome i mean he's just like this has been sitting on my toilet for the entire time i've lived here in california um and finally I'll tie in a movie with this one, even though I don't think the movie is nearly as good. Um, it's Ghost World. Daniel Klaus is an awesome cartoonist. He's a lot like David Lynch, maybe. Uh, maybe funnier. Um, Ghost World, the comic, is really great. I think that Enid, she, looks, she has such a specific look. I really didn't think Thora Birch was the right actress for it. What the fuck? And and Scarlett Johansson, I mean, as much as I like her, she was nothing compared to Rebecca that I imagined in the book. But um, Ghost World is amazing, and uh, the movie's great because Steve Buscemi's character, the character that Steve Buscemi plays is in this, but it's only he's only in like a scene, and they blew his character up for, to make a you know material for a movie. I don't know if you could, because this they didn't feel like was enough for a movie, even though I think that this is better than this, but. Um, these are both really great, and uh, Art School Confidential is another movie that Daniel Klaus and Terry Zweigoff collaborated on. Terry Zweigoff uh, directed this, he also directed the Crumb documentary. Um, he's not that great of a director, and that's probably why this movie's weaker than the comic, but Daniel Klaus wrote the screenplay for this and was nominated for an Oscar, so... This book's great, so are the other ones. Check out those comics.